want to run and talk. I ain't going to church today. Uh -huh. I don't feel like it. Uh -huh. But see, church is where you get you gonna get healed at. Church is where you are gonna get delivered and set free. Because at home you still in that mess. At home you ain't got nothing. You don't even know how to fight that thing off of you. So when you come into this house, you know that pastor gonna war. One of us gonna war with you. And that thing gonna break. Uh -huh. If it don't break because you don't want it to break. Come on now. Because I, I, I won't come into the house and come in the same way and leave out the same way. See, when I come here, I want something to change on, on the inside of me. Yes, yes. I don't want to stay the same. Yes. I don't because God is a God of change. And God gonna move us into the place that He wanted to be. But He can't He can't move us there until we do some changing. Yes. And we gotta allow him to cut on us. Yeah. It's just like a surgeon. When he get ready to go under you go up on the knife, he gonna take this out. Take that out that ain't no good in you. Come on. It's the same thing God is doing. Yeah. He said, I gotta take this anger out of you. Come on. I gotta take yeah. uh, all this bitterness out of you. Come on. Yeah. I gotta take uh, 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 anything that's not like me out of you. That's it. And see, we walk around and we war against that thing. But it, 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 it's all, to me, it's like going deep sea fishing. Uh -huh. And that yeah, thing yeah, sometimes yeah. gets so deep. And you go out there and you throw that reel like that and they're waiting for that fish to bite. And so sometimes you're going to catch a big one, uh -huh. a big bait, and that thing going to set you back for a little while. Uh -huh. And then sometimes you're going to get a little one. And you can, you can always pray with that thing. But when you're going out there, you got to know that God can do anything but fail. Yes. See, that's what God is trying to take your mindsets to. That you got to get to a place where no matter what it looks like in the, na in the, in the natural that it ain't what it is because you see what God is doing for you in the spirit. Yes. But that, that means you got to get to a relationship with yes. God. And see, you will never know that until you say, well, Lord, here I am. And get that relationship with him. Lord, it's, it's not about me, but it's all about you. That's it. Right. I can't do nothing without you, Lord. Right. I can't even breathe without you. I can't move without you. See, a lot of us get up in the morning. We don't ever thank God for waking us up in the morning. Jesus. It's not us that wake ourselves up. Uh -uh. It's not the long clock that wake you up. It's God that wake you up in the morning. Amen. So God is just wanting your attention. And when God comes and visits you through the midnight hour and says, get up, you got to get up. <laughs> How do you think you're going to war against something and something going to break in your life if you don't listen to what God is telling you? Come on. If you're not being obedient. This is like a child. You tell that child, don't go in that candy. Mm -hmm. And you turn your back and he in the candy. Mm -hmm. But God is telling you, don't do this. Don't do it. If God tell you don't go down that street, don't go down that street. That's it. See, we got to get to a place where we got to get more focused on who God is. Yes. We got to get a relationship with him. That's the only way you're going to know him. And those relationships come when it's just you by yourself at home. Come on. Not in the church where you got to look and, and be around people and think it's all about uh, what people think of. People ain't got no hell they having to put you in. That's it. That's true, but you got to be in a place where it's just you and God. And you got to allow God to love on you. Right. Uh -huh. And I mean, really, that spirit got to connect. Mm -hmm. And y'all know how I felt when you first met the Lord. Mm -hmm. When you first found him. And, and, and you told everybody you couldn't wait. You yeah. was on fire for the Lord. Yes. And then That's the more you got until you got so comfortable, and then until yeah. you got lazy. Uh -huh. And then you stopped yeah. trusting him. You stopped yeah. believing in him. But God said, I'm calling you back to that very place when you first met me. And then he goes on. On in verse 10, it said, But now here are men from Amnon, Maob, and Mount Seir, whose territory you would not allow Israel to invade when they came from Egypt. So they turned away from them and did not destroy them. See how they are repaying us by coming to drive us out of our possession you gave us as an inheritance. But see, people are going to get jealous of you. They're going to want what you have. Everything was going good in this land. So they wanted a piece of this. And he said, oh, our God will not judge them, for we have no power to face the vast army that is, taking, that is attacking us. We do not know what to do, but our eyes are open to you. All the men of Judah and their wives and children and little ones stood there before the Lord. See, they stood before the Lord. They had sense of the know that they had to stand before the Lord. And he said, in the spirit of the Lord came upon to